decided to get in business for myself and I was in the Volkswagen repair business. Now, I remember my first big lesson in business, people would bring their cars and we'd work on them and we'd hang the tickets on the wall and sometimes they'd pay us and sometimes they wouldn't and sometimes they're going to come back and pay us and we got a notice from the electric company that we're going to cut our electricity off. We owed $88 and didn't have the $88. And looked on the wall and added them up and had $700 worth of tickets on the wall. People had not paid for working on their cars and so it was my first big business lesson, I think, but we called everybody and made them come pay. And from that day on, we didn't let anybody to pick up a car until they paid for it. Because we weren't in the money of loaning money and we didn't have any money to loan. It was the first of many, many business lessons to come. And of course, I had no money and I had to learn everything on my own. I think even at that early day, I was learning to read a lot, reading books on business and marketing other things that would help me in the business. Of course, I was mainly working on Volkswagens and wanted to know more about Volkswagens. In 1977, I got my dealer's license. I had been thinking about buying and selling a few cars, and that seemed like a pretty lucrative business. And uh, owner about that time, I opened the mail, and the trustee from the bank had sent the remainder of the money. He said, you boys are not going to college anymore, and so I'm sending you the leftover money. That check was about $1,500. Uh, it, it, my dad had left me 2000 so I'd spent $500 of it about going to school. I talk a little about crossroads in life, and I think we get four or five or six crossroads in our life. Usually it's financially oriented, but not always. Sometimes it's about marriage or divorce or a birth. But that was a crossroad for me, and sometimes we make good decisions with those crossroads, and sometimes we don't. My brother got about the same amount of money, and he took it and spent it on a 488 rear end for his 64 Chevrolet Supersport, which he drag raced. I took my $1,500 and I bought a 1971 Volkswagen with my new dealer's license for $1,500. And in about three weeks, I sold it for $2,195, so I made $700, and I got a 71 Pinto in trade. And now this was in 77. 71 Pintos, as you may or may not recall, were the cars that when you hit them in the back, they blew up. Nader made a big deal out of that, as I recall. But so I had made more in three weeks on that one car, doing nothing but just buying a car and selling it. Plus, I still had the other car, which I think I sold for about $500. So I really made about $1,000, which was an unbelievable amount of money, an absolute unbelievable amount of money. So then I had $2,500 and I went and bought another car and another car and another car. In 1978, I sold about 350 cars. Uh, mostly I bought them wholesale and uh, wholesale some and retailed some, but I got in the car business in a pretty big way. I was still working on cars and also got in the body shop business. Started doing uh, collision repair, painting, and fixing old wrecked cars. I remember my first good lesson in the car business. In the middle 70s, what was really hot was step-side Chevrolet pickups. Prior to that, we'd had smooth-side pickups primarily. But those step-side pickups had become very popular. And I went off to the Fort Worth Auto Auction, and I bought a step-side pickup. I think I paid about $1,700 for it. And I laugh to this day, and I tell people that I learned a really important lesson then. The most you could lose on a car on a, seven, a car you paid $1,700 for was about $1,700. And I'm being a, bit, a little bit uh, exaggerating just a little bit, but nobody had told me that the step side pickup needed to be short wheelbase and that it couldn't be white and that it couldn't have a six cylinder motor with a standard shift, which essentially was a gas company truck. And I think I sold the truck for about $350 after I kept it about six months. And so the car business is a lot tougher than it sounds, and there's a lot of schools of hard knocks there. And I, I managed to work through it somehow.